Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans enjoy the cross of a beloved empire. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids. Ships is on everybody's minds today, and I know we are cruising for a live stream testing later on today. But let me tell you, I, 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 tre I cheated a little bit. I did a little bit of early testing with my four star. My four star executor. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. This ship is a lot of fun on offense, I gotta say, even at four-star tests. Now, we will be doing some seven-star testing later on today via stream and seeing what the counters are. Spoiler alert, this ship may have been a little bit oversold or overhyped by developers, interviews, and stuff like that out there because although it's great on offense, even at four stars, as of now, preliminary testing is showing that this ship is very beatable, contrary to what we were told, either one. The full picture hasn't been seen yet. Maybe we're missing another ship or two. Maybe the developers, like I kind of said, maybe they just didn't predict all these counters to start working. But again, let's focus on the offensive side of things. I need to climb to the top of my fleet ring before we do some uh, live stream testing. And we already have some seven star executors floating around out there. As we see, Joel Wan's one of the first in the shard to get a seven star executor. I'm ready for a seven star as well, but I want to show what does a four-star ship look like? Because not everyone's going to get a seven-star anytime soon, especially with how slow it is. It's looking like it's going to take one to two years if you're able to get the executor all the way to seven stars. I put a card in the top right-hand corner. If you need help getting the executor, i show you how to easily beat that bonus tier in that video right up there. So why don't we go ahead, get this going. So four-star executor, we're running a full entire bounty hunter fleet. The only caveat is Xanadu Blood is not required to unlock the executor. I think it's going to be a very key component. To the entire lineup. I've been enjoying Houndstooth Razor Crest in the starting. That's kind of what we've been running before PS Executive came around. And we're going to be running the newly reworked Boba Fett in the starting lineup because that basic ability uh, right over here is a little bit better than before because now if the target enemy is breached, we get to buff the spell on them. We have a lot of ways to call assist. So I think that's going to be key. So we're going to start off by going up against this team right up here. We're going to climb our way up. Show you what it's looking like. It's a lot of fun, but I think, you know, it's a good thing that this ship seems to be beatable even at seven stars. So the negotiator, the ultimate test right over here. We're going to start off by working our way over on Anakin Skywalker. Let's go ahead and uh, eh, we'll do this. Target them. There we go. Breach applied already in the yellow. We might trick the negotiator into doing unending loyalty. Let's wait and see. We're going to get some more breach. Flying around in the field. All right, he's opening up with the days, which is fine. But hey, the tenacity up is huge. No Daze's on my team. Now, let's go ahead and try to get ability block over there. We probably could have done a basic as well to do a buff this spell. Uh, how about we do that? Let's go ahead and do a mass storm. We have breach there, so let's do it. We're going to full send it. Full send it. Bam, bam, bam. Mark, buff this spell. Fantastic. You know, we're going to wait for a second. He's going to hide under stealth on me. Uh, let's just do a basic over... Let's just do a basic over here for the time being. Basic right there. We're going to wait. We're going to get that mark from the Razor Crest in a moment. Ah, you sly son of a gun. Sometime we get Polo Coon that wants to go ahead and get that cleanse in there. Little lucky gun. All right. Well, you know what? This is good. That's the ideal situation that's going to happen right there. All right. We're going to call our next reinforcement. We're going to bring Xanadu Blood. And once you get those breaches applying ever, oh, man, it's a nasty, nasty show. Let's go ahead and do a basic here. Buff this spell. We have the contract. Fantastic. So unfortunate. Anakin's under stealth, but we should have a way to handle that situation. Ah, so we're even playing this very dirty. And so far, we're kind of holding up in there for the moment. Look at our house, dude. Barely taking a scratch. No counterattacks. He was under stealth there. Uh, can we let's start working on him again? Try. There we go. Now we got the mark. It took a moment. But now we're a okay. We're gonna do the basics. Xanadu blood. That unique ability, man. All that bonus damage against breach enemies is huge losing our slave one here we go let's do this we're gonna try to bring him back up we gotta cleanse bring boba fett back up and running beautiful another taunt over on jedi knight anakin let's try to get him knocked down before he has a chance to go under stealth here seismic charge coming in i gotta drop it on one x baby crank up the tunes oh! anakin just got yeeted out of here honey all right let's go ahead and take care of this guy let's do a cleanse on our house to get that um yeah get that up but man look at that healing immunity is gonna be detrimental ah uh, it doesn't really matter let's do a buff this spell here we have a breach there oh man four stars 
wrecking a seven star relic eight fleet i mean granted you're forced to have relic gates for my fleet as well here to unlock this shit but wow za i mean oh man and i get to pop the ultimate hit it honey get him All right, yeah, this ship is uh, a lot of fun at four stars. Very fun. And we didn't lose a single ship. And we didn't even have all reinforcements. Um, the negotiator is going to have a rough time up against this ship. I did say earlier that preliminary testing is showing that uh, a lot of fleets are beating this from what I've seen so far. Malevolence is the uh, uh, first order finalizer, even the raddest. Malevolence is uh, negotiator seem to struggle a bit against this fleet how about we find a is there um all right fine i guess we're oh there we go we have a separatist fleet here let's go ahead and give that a shot here i mean negotiator seems to be having a hard time both on offense and defense against us but it seems like there's a big uh, area of opportunity for other fleets to come in handy here i mean i've even seen rebel fleets so far take out a seven star exactly what you would think the executor was supposed to be the hard counter especially with all the anti-stealth as well as the anti-out maneuver so let's do this we're gonna do assist there we go. Buff this spell. I think Boba Fett's going to be important for the center line. I'll be honest. I don't actually quite like uh, Boba Fett's taunt. I feel like he's not really a good taunting character. Let's go ahead and just do this. Uh, probably a little bit overkill. We could have just done a basic. But that's fine. Get an ability block. We can't. Oh, we got cleansed up anyways. All right. We got the buzz droids coming and we need to get a cleanse going in here ASAP because those buzz droids could be the end of us. Let's do it. We're going to cleanse it. No sense doing a mass swarm because there's not even a breach over there. So we're going to cleanse up all this garbanzo beans. Get the Hounds to back up and running. Boom! I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be seven starring uh, these Hounds Tooths out there. Uh, I'm, can we just do. Uh, all right, I'll keep working on Sun Pack for right now. Get that target lock going. Buff this spell. Oh, uh, no, he didn't have Breach. So no buff this spell. They're only going to buff this spell if there's a Breach on him. All right. See, this is why I kind of see a potential that we might be able to counter this executor with the Malevolence. I mean, again, four star fleet right now. We're going to bring in Xander Blow because we got to clean up some of this hot garbage on our ships here all right here we go we're gonna do this breach applied contract triggered almost down for a sunny d can we get a counterattack? fantastic uh will that be enough no we didn't have a breach on him counterattack again counterattack again all right get sunny d out of here all right sunny d's down for the count let's go and blitz down this high end of bomber here one step two step target lock breach is applied everywhere oh man it is just nasty losing our razor crest that's a first right there we're gonna do a mass storm right there all right, there we go. Down for the count. Even without the Razor Crest, I think we're going to still be able to handle this. I believe this was the original Vulture drone. Probably wrong. Let's just get rid of all of them. <laughs> let's just get rid of all of them. How does that sound? All right, let's get rid of that. Basic over there. Now we got to get that. Uh, we need a nice AOE. Anyone got an AOE here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No AOE here, unfortunately. So we're going to do that. I think we got in the back. Even with that little slip. But this is what I'm saying. I don't think this ship is nearly as invincible as we were kind of led to believe this kind of almost reminds me of the grievous situation when grievous first got his rework we were told oh man this is going to be the the best thing ever and truth be told grievous was actually a little lackluster when he first got they had to rework him multiple times before they finally hit the targeted projections that they wanted uh, they had to rework him give him gear 13 rework magna guard again and then we saw the full picture there we go four star we did lose the razor crest there but still i didn't feel like i had to break a sweat what's up let's do a couple more battles here why should we stop the party right there here we go we have a captain rex here we've been fighting the hound's tooth in the starting line let's try something different actually let's do this i want to fight the ahsoka tano one and then i want to fight the captain rex one i think that'll give us the a good starting initial impression but i feel pretty good for two ways one beatable capital ship it seems like even at seven stars secondly as of now, it seems like it's gonna take a oh, you're gonna take a crazy long time to get this ship to seven stars. But there still seems to be a lot of use that you can get out of the ship. All right, we're getting steamrolled here out the get go. We can't even get the hounds to to assist here. We're just gonna do this, try to get that breach going. All right, fantastic, looking good. Uh, let's get an ability block in Anakin. Not like it truly matters because you're gonna use this special there. Uh, you know what? I don't think it's worth doing that. I need to do the cleanse. No mass swarm. Let's get this uh, hounds tooth back up and running. There we go, looking good. All right, mm, all right, let's just do a, we gotta get our taunt up. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, what are you bringing in on me? All right, they got their own Xander Blood, a little odd, but hey, you got some retribution on the Hounds too. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go ahead and mark him down. Beautiful, buff this spell, beautiful. All right, you know what? 
All right, we'll bring in a reinforcement. I think that Anakin Skywalker is going to be donezo here. And usually by the time I call my Xanadu to blood, we can usually get that contract hitting right away. Let's go ahead and uh, clean off the breach here. There we go. And I think, I'm not sure if other people, the people have been reporting that the the, the, the executor looks bad. I'm not sure what lineup they're running at. I see a bunch of variety stuff. I think that Xanadu blood is a fleet or ship that people might need to get up and running. Or who knows? We talked about the other day. It looks like there was a tease that we might be getting more stuff around the corner here. Maybe we're missing the punishing one. Maybe it's kind of reminiscent. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. This guy's not taking it. He's not dying. He's not dying at all. Uh, let's get Breach going here. All right, and there we go. Buff this spell down for the count. Man, yeah. Ooh, negotiators are getting wrecked by this fleet here. All right, no sense in doing the swarm. We don't have any uh, target lock or even a Breach for that matter. Adam, there we go. Plo coming in, trying to save the day. A little too late, buddy. I'm, I hate to say it. I'll uh, just do basic for right now. Oh my gosh, look at all that breach, the target lock. Yike, -a Roonies, Mama Boonies. Let's go mark this dude down. All right, looking good. Get that going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that breach flying. Oh, it's just. Woo! Man, we could have targeted them. All right, hey, here we go. I got to slow it down just a little bit. Oh, very nice, very nice. Drop the seismic, boom! Oh, man. This ship is a lot of fun, I gotta say. It is a lot of fun. So that's why I'm not overly, I'm not disappointed because the ship is beatable. It's very fun to use on offense. And I'm sure it's got a degree of good defensive viability despite people complaining that it doesn't seem to be as OP as the developers have. But again, I think we need to give it some time to really see how it's gonna settle in. But right now, man, this ship is kicking some serious boot. Hey, let's do one more battle. You know, just indulge me for a moment. Let's get a little, let's do, let's see. Oh, how about this? How about this? You know, we got a lot of timer. I'm doing one more negotiator battle. And I just wanna see, can we four star a uh, seven star Piet. Oof, that's gonna be a nasty mirror match. But one more negotiator battle just to get a variety of different compositions you might see in Territory Wars or Grand Arena or even the Fleet Arena as we're showcasing right now. And then the true test is gonna be that mirror match. And I don't know if that's gonna be a pretty mirror match with us being understarter. The tenacity up at the beginning is huge. Breach applied. Let's see if we can try to get a mark on Sky Guy here. All right, there we go. Captain Rex doing his thing. Uh, let's just do a basic here so we can get the mark going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Doesn't really matter. Um, doesn't really matter at all. Just do that. There we go. Beautiful. All right. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do the mass swarm right now. Mass swarm coming in. And okay, he's in the re deep red. Deep red. I don't know if he's gonna be able to stick around much longer here. Anakin's gonna try to get away from the mark, but he just can't do it. And I, you know, can we just? <sighs> I didn't even think about autoing. I was actually having a lot of fun utilizing this ship on manual. Uh, let's put put this on full auto. For the rest of the battle, I think this ship is going to definitely have full auto potential. Up against the Negotiator, which is great for doing that squad arena climb. Or the fleet arena climb. Probably not something you want to do in Territory Wars or Grand Raid. But nonetheless, I think this ship is going to have... If you don't like doing everything on manual in Fleet Arena, I think your Piet might be very nice for the squad arena climbs here. Here we go. What do we got? They're going to do the basic here. Got the expose here. Oh, right. Lots of ability box. My gosh, the undispellable target lock is literally free real estate for Boba Fett. Here. There we go. How's the Bye. I mean, our house is still looking a okay here. Who are we calling him? We're calling our last reinforcement, IG2000. Getting the stun. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get Boba Fett. I was hoping he would do the buff dispel over there, but nonetheless, that's fine. Mr. P.K. Chang going down for the count right there. And wow. Four stars, people. Four star ship right here. I just can't help but get a little girl. He's seeing the Death Star in full swing right there. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, let's just wrap this up. Let's get to that executor battle here. Hey, listen, I appreciate the Valiant effort you've been trying to put in, but... Uh, that's frivolous at this point. Just give up. Just give up. Put him down in the grave. Clean up Captain Rex and let's go. Do our last battle for today. All right, one more battle to go. And this is going to be a nasty one right there. So far, I mean, barely an inconvenience if you guys ask me. Joe Juan, we're going to be doing a lot of testing today in our live stream, finding counters to this. But again, as I said, preliminary testing showing there are a variety of counters for this team right now. So let's just go for it. We're going to do the same lineup. Going in, uh, the mirror match is a totally different thing. I'm sure that's going to be a problem down the road for people once we build a few months into it and Fleet Arena is going to be polluted 
by these executors potentially but i think we have a lot of learning to do on this fleet here okay man i don't know what i want to do here uh i'm guessing you might want to get rid of the razor crest first let's get our breach going here uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. all right i'm gonna go ahead and bring in Ooh, you i kind of want to bring in boba fett to try to buff the spell um, or clean the let's just do buff the spell all right there we go maybe should have, we could have done the mark there let's do our own ability blocks here uh we missed the ability block on razor crest all right resisting there's a tenacity coming in full swing here do we want to do anything yet let's do the mass swarm mass swarm should get a nice buff the spell right there we mark down the hound's tooth all right mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep working on over there we go in the red so far so good i'm bringing it yeah there's that xander blood i mean this guy has the same thought as me xander blood is gonna be a must have i think mark down him there we go we're gonna get counter tech which is fine which is fine okay stick with it i mean we're looking pretty good right now if you ask me let's go ahead mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring in ig2000 here uh i don't want to do an aoe because i'm gonna if i bring in xander blood we'll do the aoe and we're gonna get tons of counter tech let's do this Ah, oh, no stun unfortunately all right take it a hit do basic clean that breach off us target lock applied let's go come on come on come on come on just do basic let's buff this spell fancy i mean holy cow we are punching up a big time right now and we're able to i mean we're it feels like i'm ahead of the ball game holy cow man i don't know if this is intended but man i'm kind of wondering what's the point of a seven star executor except that some events require uh seven star ships i mean holy cow i mean let's just keep our mouths shut we don't know if something's gonna happen here but right now i mean we got the contract they lost their razor crest i'm about to throw down a fat dub right here Bow! and i think it's gonna be game over there you know how about we go ahead and get rid of this guy let's go get uh, ig2000 for the assist oh oh down bye-bye no man thanks for playing it's been a uh, been a pleasure all right yeah, their ig2000 coming in and here's the thing now that they lost the razor crest there is no payout for them they cannot get paid here got a nice stun right there beautiful uh let's do xanadu blood coming in last all right and let's see if we can get a buff this spell with our slave one yeah 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 couple of ability blocks please and thank you oh very nice all right oh ooh, interesting they didn't even give it over to hounds too that would have been a big direction in gameplay if they would have went after him hmm interesting and, and it looks like we're almost there guys let's go ahead and do a full swarm on xanadu down for the wow guys my first time i mean granted i am the director of the video gaming division so being an elite triple b gamer i mean that's just part of the resume here but for a first time going up against an executor four stars oh crap i didn't mean to knock him down whoops <laughs> i meant to do more testing with them later i'm gonna have to ask him they come back up so uh, a lot of thoughts going on right now initial impressions is a four star executor great i mean <laughs> i think you guys could probably answer that question so four stars fantastic malevolences negotiators even seven star executors apparently so four stars you're gonna get a lot of use out of this capture before needing to wait like several years to get the seven stars assuming they don't make any changes down or but defense wise i think there's some stuff missing either a punishing one maybe ai tweaks need to happen but again i'm happy this is a beatable capital ship i'm glad it's not living up to the defensive hype that the developers tried selling us a wagon this is why i always say some stuff looks better on paper than it is in real life that's why we test this stuff out so you can make a better informed decision on where to go for the future of galaxy heroes yes the executor is great it's a lot of fun but I think if we have a lot of other ships out there that can counter the ship and there aren't going to be any changes, I think you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below and all your thoughts. And, of course, be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And dang, dang, dang. I'll see you guys in the next video. And always remember, it's great to be in the, in the Empire, Empire today. today.